Yes, think about this. So we have two verses in Scripture that really tie what happens in the water. And we have the verses here. Let's oh. put them up. Yes, okay. So we have, if you look at Hebrews, you see that Hebrews um, shows us a very, very good picture of what happened because of sacrifice. Uh, in, in the book of Hebrews, uh, can you pull that up? In chapters yeah. 9, verse 22, it says um, that according to the law, almost all things are purified with, with blood. And without, sh without shedding of blood, there is no remission. So we see here that Christ shed his blood for the remission of sin. Mm. And it says that without the shedding blood, there's no remission. Mm. And we say, well, hey, it's the blood of Christ that makes me free. It's his blood and it's the shedding, mm. right? But how do you get the blood applied is a question. And we see perfectly in Acts 2.38, Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized for the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? For the remission. remission. For the remission. So the shedding of blood, there's remission. Now how do you get this into your, into your life? By you baptizing to Jesus. Yeah. What's beautiful about this, well, we could probably get into that, but John's baptism didn't work because he didn't shed his blood for you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus shed his blood for you. That's, yeah. that's really good. And I recently had uh, several discussions with at least two people that that had the same, the same dilemma or the same paradigm. They're like, yeah, but what about the blood? It's the blood that saves. How is baptism? And I, I explained this very thing. Like, yes, it's the blood. That, that that saves but how do you apply yes. how do you you know and the word the word deals with the blood and the water concerning the conscience mm -hmm. in hebrews 9 14 it says shall the, shall not the blood of christ mm -hmm. cleanse our conscience come on bro from dead works yeah and we saw that and in first peter, peter says mm -hmm. a clean conscience yes. through mm -hmm. baptism that's good the water and the blood are working together yeah. in that baptism so, for the atonement of sin yeah and for the washing so, away so of what it. we are good, saying bro. is the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the, the blood, blood of jesus, jesus. correct is the blood of jesus yes it was the blood of the lamb who saved egypt out of captivity, it was by Israel. the blood. The Israel from yeah, Israel. Israel. So Israel out of Egypt. Egypt. Yeah, yeah. It was the blood of the lamb, yes. but it was not a love to slaughter the lamb and looked at the blood and say, "We believe the blood. We believe right. that this blood that is slain here right. is now going to save us, so death will walk by us and not kill the firstborn." Right. It was not the faith in the blood that saved. Right. It was the the act of the act blood. of the blood. Right. And there, at that time, they should take the blood and take over the door. Right. So they've walked by. Yes. Today, how do we use the blood, take the yeah. blood? What do yeah. we do with the blood for yeah. the forgiveness of sins? How? Acts 2, yeah. 38. Yeah. Or, I, or I would say, not, not that it was not the faith in the blood, but it was the faith. But how do you how do you Apply prove it. that faith? Yeah. How do yeah. you activate it or, or prove it right. by applying it on the post? Yeah. So it was an, a faith that requires some. So action. so what do you believe? What so, does happen in the baptism? Well, yeah. well, I believe in the baptism that the blood of Jesus Christ is is cleansing you of your sin in baptism. Yeah. yeah. So, so what do you? So more. I believe in I the believe baptism. More. There is both the atonement of His blood. Yes. And there's the cleansing yes. of the water in the conscience. It says here in Hebrews 10, 22, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, Repentance. having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, blood in the water, Baptism. and our bodies washed with pure water. Baptism. Yes. Guys, you, you preaching baptism regeneration, <laughs> don't you? No, no, we're, we're but preaching yes, a but new no. creation in Christ. But, but, but what do yes. you believe in? Because I, this is what people would say. Just, not the pitch that you explained at the beginning. Right. But this yeah. is what people would say. People would say you believe in the same. Are you a Catholic? Yeah. Are you Luton? No, 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 we're no. Okay. No. See, Catholics and Lutherans, they read the same book. Mm -hmm. So they saw the same truth. Right. Yeah. What, what happened is that they took a part of the truth and they made this is the doctrine and and yep. got rid of the rest. Yeah. And so now we so now we have other uh, other Protestants who take the rest and and reject this part. So yep. what what do you believe? What is happening in baptism? I believe that in baptism alone, when you talk about baptism water after repentance, that Jesus is cleansing you of sin and the body of sin. So, mm -hmm. so it's not a symbol, it's not our word sign, it's not a powerful. Po powerful okay, it, also, save, it saves us. It saves you. It saves you from what? Well, we can get there, right? Yeah. But listen to this, though. I also believe we're talking Romans that you are being nailed to the cross with him. You're being united yes. with him on the cross. What did Jesus do on the cross? He died for your sins. Yep. If baptism is a crucifixion with him, what's happening in the water? Dead to sin. Yeah. Right? To free from sin. 
Yes. It's written there. Yeah, listen yeah. listen to what, what Romans 6 says, verse 5. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. So we see the word likeness and we think symbol, but before that it said, if we are united. That's yep. a, that's, that's a, a not a symbol. Right. We are united, okay? Yep. Number one. In the likeness of his death. There's yep. a, we're not saying that the uniting is a likeness. We no. are united. Yeah, absolutely. We are united. First, and, you know, 1 Corinthians 6, 17, he that's joined himself to the Lord is one spirit. We're united. This is what I also believe is happening. I believe that when it says to be baptized in his name, mm -hmm. we're not talking about uh, saying his name. Like I, When you say in the name, you're talking about in his authority in his power. Mm. Yes. And so when I get baptized in his name, I'm getting baptized into his authority. Into Matthew yes, 28 says, all authority is mine. Now make disciples and baptize them. Yeah. And we're getting baptized into his authority, yeah. which means that if I get baptized into Christ, when I come out, I am clothed with Christ. Like he's yes. all around yeah, me. Yeah, Come on. The body of sin is moved and Jesus Christ, his authority of power is upon. And we see scriptures that say, be clothed with Christ. Yes. So Galatians, Galatians. three twenty seven, mm. all that were baptized into into Christ have put on, on, on Christ. Christ. Mm. That's what it says. Come on. And so, yeah. so go ahead. I just want to say, if you if you re uh, quote Galatians three twenty seven, you always need to take twenty six because I love that. So in Jesus Christ, you are all children of God through faith. Yes. So mm. in Jesus Christ. Yes. You are all a children of God through faith. Yes. And then people stop there. Oh, look, you have nothing to do with baptism. Mm. It is through yeah. faith I am the children of God. Yeah, when? How? For all of you who were baptized into Christ, close yourself yeah, with Christ. And, right. and that is on, the bro. thing. The early church was a church of baptized people believers. Yes. That was how they entered into their faith. Yes. And some of the discussion we have nowadays, they never had a discussion like it. Paul never, I often say it when people talk to me about it, Paul never talked, had discussion like that. He never met a Catholic, he never met a Luther, he never met somebody who no. believed Baptist was an outward sign of inner faith. He never met people like right. us. Right. So if he was living nowadays, I know he would write something very hard in his letters and yeah. go against that.